Hello, Laurel Lyons. Welcome back to Garden Class with Miss Hannah. Today, we're going to talk about something really fun, creatures in our garden. First, let's check out our worm bin. It's a place where we can put leaves, fruits, and veggies that we don't want to eat, and creatures will turn them into soil. One creature that lives in our worm bin is, you guessed it, worms. But there's lots more going on in the soil of our garden that we'll check out today. One creature is roly polies. They live in our soil like worms and eat our compost to turn it into soil. They get their name because they can roll up into a ball to protect themselves. They like to live in dark, moist locations, but they're really friendly and don't hurt people. You can see here how they roll up into balls. Worms are the most important creature in, in our soil. They can turn unhealthy soil into healthy soil. These red worms are called red wrigglers. Mature worms, like the ones up here, will mate with each other. And you can tell when they're mating when they have an enlarged section on their body. Then they'll lay eggs that look like this. These eggs contain tons of teeny tiny baby worms. Those baby worms are white and they look like this little one here. After a while, they'll grow up and become big red wriggler worms again. And the cycle will continue. What other creatures have you seen in the garden? Snails often hide on the big yummy leaves in the garden because they like to eat vegetables just like us. Some gardeners don't like snails because they eat our plants so often, but they have such beautiful shells. Different types of snails can live five to 25 years, and some people even eat snails. Yum! They have slimy skin, which helps them move and stretch, but, they don't, but don't leave them in the sun or they'll dry out. Slugs are like snails, but without shells. They eat our plants just like snails do, but they never ever live in shells. They're a totally different creature. So look around your yard, see what you can find, and thank you for watching. See you next time.